A global pandemic is no reason to keep you away from the zoo. Signage telling you to keep your distance. Lots of pollinators. They've divided the zoo into separate lanes, although it's kind of backwards where we're on the wrong side instead of walking on the right side of the road. Welcome 2099. Yeah. Yeah, that one was great. Yeah, that one Even the sculptures are wearing face masks now. Stay safe, polar bear. I think that snake was in the exact same spot when I visited the zoo last year. Bananas! These frogs kind of look like wet, mushy turds, don't they? I wonder if that's their defense. Don't step on me! I just love the underwater stuff. It looks more alien than half the aliens in alien movies. It's Captain Picard's fish. Jellies are always a favorite of mine. Very strictly managing the movement across the park. Signs everywhere. That's true. Your mask should be covering your nostrils. Certain animals are susceptible to COVID, such as the cats, so they've added additional barriers. That's the closest I could get to the kitty. More pollinators. Very beautiful, colorful birds. The polar bears looked like they're just dying of heat. I feel kind of bad for the arctic animals on these hot summer days. Most of the primates, the um, things closely related to pigs and cats, were all given additional barriers and security. But these little guys looked so excited. So excited. Oh wow. Yeah, he's really excited. I feel like the zoo has so many animals, people don't pay attention to the beautiful flowers that are everywhere as well. Quite a few areas were um, barricaded off. There are a few things we're not quite able to see, but for the most part, a lot of it was um, accessible. The frogs wearing a mask. Pollinating. Zoo poutine. This is the closest I've ever seen the zebras uh, standing towards the, um, the ledge. Normally they're way back. Hippos! Name. 
one of the new additions to the zoo. A cute baby giraffe. I was wonder I was worried about crowds, but uh, it's not too bad. Oh, the kitty. The butterfly pavilion was closed. These guys will have to do. Look at that wrinkly butt. He's just eating the stick. Amazing. I just love these thick armored rhinos. It's the big folds and plates. Very unusual looking. Chomp, chomp, chomp. He like ate the whole damn stick. It is gone. So if you're wondering uh, what Toronto Zoo was like in the age of COVID, uh, hopefully this video has given you a bit of an idea. Um, crowds are a lot lighter. You have to buy tickets ahead of time. They sell out quickly. Nice day at the zoo. All right, thanks. Have a good one. Bye.